534 here. A Russian fighter jet hit a U.S. drone over the Black Sea, forcing it down. It could be the first time since the Cold War that a U.S. aircraft was brought down after an encounter with a Russian warplane. Uh, the collision is adding to rising tensions between Russia and the United States amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. So joining us from Washington, D.C. to unpack all of this and what we know about this incident so far is our reporter, Lucas Tomlinson. Lucas, it's good to have you back this morning here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the significance of this overnight development and how it impacts our relationship with Russia. Sure. Well, good morning, Liz. Well, this was a $32 million drone that was knocked out of the sky after a collision, an apparent accident by a Russian fighter jet. It's notable that this Russian Su-27 was actually dumping fuel on top of this American drone. It's a U.S. Reaper drone. Some of our viewers probably remember this as the workhorse for the U.S. military for the past two decades in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, and perhaps Yemen as well. Um, you know, these things have crashed before. However, uh, like you said, it's the first time since, uh, you know, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, for mm -hmm. sure, that uh, a Russian fighter jet has knocked into one of these things. Very dangerous and potentially volatile incident. Uh, it did take place, the Pentagon says, in international airspace. Of course, the Russian Russians don't see it that way. They saw this, uh, you know, U.S. military spying on them as threatening. I mean, Lucas, we've talked to you before here, and you're the you're the guy to talk to about Ukraine because you've been there on the ground. Um, so when we talk about this latest incident, how is it going to impact the conflict that is going on in Ukraine right now? Well, so it's just going to raise tensions. Uh, yesterday, the State Department actually uh, called in, recalled the uh, uh, Russian ambassador to Washington, actually summoned him. And uh, while not a former demarche or this diplomatic speak for a former, you know, retribution, uh, however, you know, it's certainly raising tensions, puts a lot of more pressure on, uh, you know, the American president, of course, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, you know, some people want, to, uh, want Biden to send Putin an invoice for that drone, Liz. I mean, this thing mm -hmm. costs uh, $32 million. Also, there might have been some damage to the Russian fighter jet, but it potentially could have been even worse if there's any loss of life if that uh, Russian jet had crashed down and, and a pilot potentially killed, which did not happen. We're told uh, by sources that those Russian jets involved in the incident landed safely in Crimea. We're told the harassment that happened up at about 30,000 feet uh, took place over 30 to, to 40 minutes. Uh, but again, the, the Russian jet was actually dumping fuel on that American jet before they clipped. So certainly a lot of provocations right now now and then potentially escalating the situation. But uh, it's very clear that the U.S. military, the Biden administration does not want to escalate things with Russia right now. Yeah, but wow. certainly this is a proxy war going on right now in Ukraine. You know, the U.S. is, is arming and, and supporting Ukrainian forces as they battle Russian forces. A lot of casualties on both sides, up to 200,000 Russian soldiers killed or wounded in just over a year. Ukrainians are also taking casualties, so they're up to 120,000 killed or wounded in the past year. That's a lot of loss of life, a lot of injuries. And of course, we've seen the devastation across Ukraine to, to its population and all those uh, refugees fleeing the country. And I'm glad you mentioned the refugees refugees and the loss of life. I know we talk a lot about aid packages and money and right. politics, right. but I mean, there is, there are lives on the line here. So uh, thank you for pointing that out. Lucas Tomlinson from Washington, D.C. this morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Liz.